Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a good day to everyone. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are always doing good. I'm Abdullah Abdul Samad from the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering Technology, University of Malaysia Police Unimap. In this short video, I will share with all of you a bit about my recent invention entitled Comprehensive Works on Lanternum Salt and Cobalt Oxide Cathode Material Processing for a High Performance Protonic Ceramic Fuel Cell. I hope you will enjoy this short video. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we are facing a huge problem what we call as an energy crisis. This crisis occurs due to the depletion of energy resources, mainly the fossil fuel. Although we have done a lot of campaigns to save the energy, but they seem less promising at all. Furthermore, we have developed a lot of alternative energies, but some of them bring harm to the environment and some of them cannot sustain for a long period of time. That is why, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we have to move on from the era of energy crisis to the era of sustainable energy for all, or what we call as Go Green. One of the Go Green technologies is hydrogen technology. One of the hydrogen technologies is fuel cell. So what is a fuel cell? Fuel cell is an electrochemical device that converts chemical energy directly into electricity via electrochemical processes. There are few types of fuel cell, and the most outstanding one is solid oxide fuel cell, or SOFC. There are two types of SOFC, which are oxide ion conducting SOFC and protonic ceramic fuel cell PCFC. The differences between these two types of SOFC, number one, the type of electrolyte used, and number two, the site where the water is formed. Here are some potential applications of SOFC or PCFC. They can be used in transportation, portable power, and stationary power sources. Current research in SOFC or PCFC development is to reduce its high operating temperature to intermediate temperature. However, at reduced temperature, the main problem occurs. The problem is high cathode polarization resistance RP. However, there are few solutions that can be adopted to solve the problem. Here are general requirements for a cathode material to be used in PCFC or SOFC application. The main requirement is the value of RP should be below than 1 ohm centimeter square. One of the potential cathode candidates for PCFC application is lanthanum strontium cobalt oxide material. Based on the previous research done by Wang et al., the value of RP is 1.78 ohm cm square. This value is beyond the targeted value. Therefore, the value needs to be reduced. Here are a few approaches we adopted in this work to reduce the RP value. Number one, we optimize the LSE cathode microstructure by using different chemical agents. The lowest RP recorded when we use surfactant as chemical agent. Different chemical agent will have different mechanism and it will affect the properties of LSE cathode produce. Approach number two. We optimize ink preparation and thin film printing technique by using EG-based LSE powder. The lowest RP value recorded when we prepare the ink using triple roll milling and we printing the film using screen printing. Approach number three, we optimize the thickness of thin film by using triple roll milling assisted with screen printing technique. In this approach, we vary the number of printing from 2 times to 10 times. The lowest RP value recorded at number of printing equal to 2 times. Approach number 4. We measure the performance of LSC thin film in different air, which are ambient air and wet air. As we can see from the results, the RP values in wet air is lower than RP value in ambient air at temperatures from 600 to 800 degrees Celsius. However, at temperature 500 degrees Celsius, the RP value in wet air is higher than RP value in ambient air. 
From the overall result we obtained from this work, we managed to reduce the RP value of LSC cathode at intermediate temperature about 60 to 80 percent. Here are some publications and awards of this work. There is the end of this video. Thank you for your time and cooperation.